You were telling me something there last week about uh, nettles. Yeah. Tell us that again. Uh, we used to boil, uh, get the heads of the newly grown nettle in the spring and boil them, the heads up in a saucepan. And then when it was cool enough, apply it to the scalp. And it was, it was supposed to help hair grow. Uh, yeah, hair grow. And uh, it never had much effect on me. <laughs> I tried it a couple of times. <laughs> Was that a common? Yeah, it was a country remedy for for hair growth. Yeah. And did you do anything else in the month of May? Uh, yeah, we uh, used to collect the first leaves of the May tree and uh, make a soup of it and drink it. Yeah. The f only the early leaves, the first leaves, when they were young, when they started getting a bit gr too green, we never touched them. But it was early, pale green, may, may leaf. And we, we used to build, make a soup of that and drink it. It was good for you. Yeah. And did you call the hawthorn the may tree? No, I always used to call it a hawthorn myself. Yeah. Yeah. But we used to call the blossom a may blossom. Ah, okay. So, so the may tree, what was the may tree? It was the hawthorn. Yeah. Did you ever come across the term a bread and cheese? Bread and cheese, oh yeah. yeah. Can you tell me what bread and cheese was? We, was the bread and cheese was the, to do with the may tree. The, uh, the contrast of the leaves and the white blossom. Yeah. Did you eat it? Yeah. The new leaves, when they got a bit too green, they, they didn't, well, we never tried it, but it was never recommended. And do you remember a maypole? Oh yeah, yeah. We uh, used to do it at school. They'd erect a maypole, and the uh, the young younger children would dance around it. Yeah. And were there boys or girls? Both. Yeah. And what years are we talking? Uh, infant school. Infant, the primary school, as we called it. And where was that, Brian? In a little village called Markiate. You were telling me last week about seeing um, donkeys turn axles to do some churning. Was that oh, right? oh, that was when I was in the army and, and during my two years national service, and we were in Germany and uh, on this particular farm he had in the countryside he had these little donkeys and they turned a, a grinding wheel of stone and ground up the corn you could see it coming out the side of the two two wheels yeah. and last week you were telling me as well you were telling me that you, you remember people back in Wearing the black diamonds. Oh, they used to wear this black diamond to show they were in mourning for a relative. And uh, I used to see these people walking through the, in the village in, when I was a young fella. And it, it was to show they were in mourning for a relative. Do you ever remember? When someone would die over in England, were there any customs that you would do, like open windows or stop clocks? Uh, oh, they used to cover a mirror with a cloth, especially in the house where the death occurred. And they'd cover the mirror and they'd open a, a window. Yeah. Were you told that was to let the soul out? Mm, yes. 
Yeah. And were there any particular wedding customs? The usual one of the bride throwing the uh, bouquet out to whoever would catch it. I've seen that done. Did you ever see someone throwing loads of money up in the air and the children running for it? No, I haven't, no. Oh, have I? The, me the members are starting to come back. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I have seen it once where they throw, they come out of the church and the bridegroom threw money out all that, and the uh, bride threw the bouquet out, yeah. usually towards the bridesmaids. <laughs> Their chance to get married. <laughs> Da <laughs> da